Hello fellow regs, um, today we're gonna be doing a quick tutorial on shooting which is kind of 50% of this game, the rest of us is intelligence <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the basics um, some of the regs were in the training that was about 2-3 weeks ago and we myself and Prolons and Om were there um, gonna go first through the basics which is obviously keep your stamina up when you're engaging that's every every mumbo you encounter will give you that advice however in real game you will pretty much run a lot of the time so your stamina will continue decreasing so the advice I get is if you f find a cover or consumant lean down crouch and find the most comfortable angle to shoot till your stamina regains as well just hold your position when you know there's enemies firing behind there there's some firefight going on hold get to a position on an angle and just wait for your stamina to go up um, another good thing Prolens told uh, on the training is when you're picking a corner so you know you got an enemy there you have to fire and move at the same time so you use the suppression mechanic that is a good strategy however I would say in uh, CQB also when you're exiting a building that technique is to keep your crosshair to the edge that you're peeking on always so if you start from this area that area is clear you don't see contact there keep the scope on the edge and move peek as you keep it on the edge of the object that you're looking at so that will give you the first shot if you see enemy you'll be most of the times quicker the people, a lot of people do it wrong where you look at there and then they pick and they look at that, you're exposing this area here you can get shot in a split second if you do that like I'm watching, watching this enemy there he drops me in fucking two seconds the way to avoid that always keep your cross here to the edge close to the edge when you're peeking give you less exposure to the enemy and uh, you can drop them quicker because the amount of travel time is about a second here between the scope so there, there you go, if I was looking there I lose one second reaction time but if I keep it here that reaction time is less you will, you will practice that and you will learn it, it's kinda easy just keep your cross here to the edge right, we covered that um, on top of uh, Prolan's advice to suppress <coughs> and fire at the same time while uh, going around the corners I would give an advice to um, always change position after every engagement that will give you absolute advantage so imagine if I'm in a compound I kill one guy there right he's down check my corner move to another position straight away because what will happen is that guy is going to go down then he's going to say oh there's a, there's a, there's a guy on, uh, on the left corner there he dropped me from the left corner the next, peop the next guy will start peeking maybe thinking that this is the area where the guy is but I am in a different corner already waiting for him or I could be there you could be anywhere just make sure you change position after each kill when you know there's enemies around you because they will never know where exactly you are even if somebody spa spawning uh, I mean spamming shit on uh, chat oh he's in the left corner he's on the right corner of the building blah 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 that's all bullshit obviously because you change position so smarter way basically uh, I don't remember after two weeks ago we, d we did a seeding on Sumari I dropped five of your eggs and there was a guy that chucked a frag at the doorway that grenade exploded he did the mechanic the prolons explained peeking like that 
However, I was in a completely different position. I was behind there, just waiting for him on the doorway, just to show up. So he was basically firing blind to nothing. Yeah. So cover, cover your angles and move. Keep moving and change angles to engage more targets because you you can basically be smarter than them. Right, guys. Next thing we're gonna cover now is positioning and leaning one of those essential things for combat. Normally when I lean basically outside or inside buildings I tend to move a little bit as long as my scope is not obstructed like that. I tend to move when I peek like this be a hard target for the enemy basically when you cross always when if it's clear you make sure the road is clear always look your shoulder that's a quick look go to next building or go to next bush let's put it this way do I like to look on hilltops or other ob objects is first do a quick peek Stand up, crouch, right guys next thing I'm gonna cover is concealment, it's very important, uh, in the shooting range obviously we have very few bushes, but the way I tend to do that is when you have trees and bushes, I run to the nearest bush always, try to stay in the bush and whenever it's a big bush Try to poke yourself enough so your scope can cover the degrees that you're looking at. It is, it is effective. It is more difficult for the enemy to see you in a bush rather than just stay next to a bush and leaning like that and you know try to get an angle on them or some contacts. It like it's just better if you stay inside a bush, small bush, big bush. You love bushes. I know you also. So try to. Go to a bush, lie down, maybe lean, just stay inside and engage enemies. There, it's more difficult to be seen. It is effective. I've tried it. Practice it. Second thing, we when you have now hill environments, let's say this hill for example, like there's there's like probably enemies, suspected enemies there. The the thing you do wrong, or most of the players do wrong, it just goes straight. You just go straight. However, that hill is not is is in a, in a downcline, so you're you're very exposed. This is why on some well majority of the screens you see mumbles do this or this to blend in with the slope. The other slope goes down. That way you expose less on your body and you get a chance to drop somebody first. So if the enemy is there on the edge of that hill. If I do that, my head is exposed. If I do this, my head is not exposed, but I still cover with the scope. So as soon as he shows, he's down. If if the uh, incline of the hill is the other direction, the enemy is there. Right? You can do a leaning position on the other side. And always pick on an angle, depending on the slope of the hill. Very good advice. Practice it. It is effective. Let's try something else. So there's a hill here. Let's see, uneven, uneven environments. If you want to pee, if you don't, if you're unsure what is on the other side, let's put it this way. Probably enemies. I normally do left to the other side of the hill to blend in. Maybe cover right. If not, quickly do a pop up like that. If you if you're quick enough with the crouch key, you go for a split second like that, so you can get a rough idea what's going on over there, and then keep on moving. Yeah, so we cover this. We cover vegetation. Cover the other two things are very 
very difficult and it will take a lot of time for you to master but they will define you as a good shooter and that is when you run for an environment always keep the center of your screen where you want to engage in the middle so it, for example if you see an enemy that's more of a reflex by the way if you see an enemy and he's there you're gonna have to adjust in a split second the screen there like if it's a window try get on the window not everyone can do it because it takes a lot of reflex and muscle memory to do it like if I see a guy there and I'm zoomed in there it takes me a lot of time to travel rather than me going boom boom spin your mouse zoom in and that travel distance between the window or the enemy that you're shooting at should be as less as possible so you have to be quick to adjust in the middle of your screen the target when you want to engage that that's basically just um, you can just practice it it's a it's more of a reflex and uh, yeah it, it defies you as a uh, good shooter if you master that you, you're pretty much good because majority of the firefights are based on reflex as well as positioning and leaning and all that but yeah on pub, pub games majority of them are just quick zoom in and kill them blueberries you know <laughs> right the other the last thing actually I want to cover for this short video is the lean shoot mechanic that is some mumbles actually have mastered this including Nordic it's pretty good so that always happens when you see an enemy you see an enemy over there he sees you you see him and you both up and fire normally in the blueberry game it happens like this you just shoot each other you just shoot each other and then do one of your fucking trades and dies. However, mumbles most of the time do this. Suppression with uh, firing down range while changing your position to make the enemy difficult to shoot you. As you see, there's a slight deviation on your scope when you lean but with practice and adjustment that will give you significant advantage if the enemy sees you and you see him that's a direct contact basically there, there's no time for cover there's no time for you to do anything all you have to do is just start shooting lean left lean, la lean right make make yourself difficult basically for you to get hit sometimes it is uh, wiser not to engage especially when you're beginning uh, you know you're a beginner of shooting or you're not good at shooting like if you got an enemy there it's better to disengage and move to a more comfortable position if you miss if you miss the enemy knows all oh, that guy's there so he just he's just gonna sit you out he's gonna wait for you to pop up and then it's gonna be and you're fucking dead so if an enemy let's say sees you there he's gonna probably zoom in wait for you so what you do is try to find another angle on them. That's the smartest decision you can make. Don't go directly on contact. Somebody will tell you otherwise, obviously, with advices, but it is better to change position, just like in the CQB. That's the same advice I'm giving you. Change position of engagement, if you can. Because that guy thinks you're there, and now you're popping up on another angle. And you kill. it's basically however the game flows so all those things will be useful it's up to you how to implement them into the game I'll say for some situations it's better not to engage for some situations it's good to engage if you think you're confident enough to, to drop them yeah feel free it's no problem yeah and uh, yeah this is my visions of shooting so really quick tutorial hopefully that helps you um, you can just rewind it because it's gonna be short anyway and uh, go through the basics that I've talked about but I'm pretty confident it will uh, it will improve your shooting a lot 
remember to take your time when you start learning to shoot take your time you don't have to run across open fields in fire like crazy like Rambo like you see here <laughs> most of the mumbles <laughs> but they're experienced anyway so yeah hopefully that helps you guys um, I'm gonna post it soon thank you